Hi, namaste. I'm Anne at Rise Yoga and you clicked on this video because you're curious about what happens in our studio. I'm here to give you a couple of tips and pointers on what to expect for class etiquette. First of all, refrain from eating for two to three hours before class. Things move around in there and sometimes it's not too pretty. Also, arrive early. That way we can help you get settled in and show you around. There's some students coming in now. Let's take a look. As you enter the studio, place shoes and socks in our cubbies. We have a lounge in the back for all the rest of your personal items. And remember to silence your cell phone. This is your time. Sign in at the front desk, even if you've registered online. Enter the studio quietly and with respect. Others are stretching and getting ready. If you have any physical limitations or injuries, please discuss them with your instructor. We're here to help you. Be courteous to others and quietly set up your space. Respect fellow students. Walk around mats, not on top of them. And be courteous and flexible as other students enter. Move if you need. We also need to leave space for our massage clients to walk through. Mind your personal hygiene. Remember, strong scents, good or bad, are overpowering. Wow! Catch a whiff. Practice without ego. Remember, there are many variations to postures, so be sure to stay within your own limitations and ask your instructor for modifications. Don't skip Savasana, final relaxation. This is where the body integrates our practice and receives its benefits. Namaste. Namaste. We end each class with Namaste and a bow, honoring the light in each of us. Our studio provides blankets and mats and props for your use. Please honor the student who will follow you by cleaning them up appropriately. Blanket folding is an important part of our practice. Open the blanket completely. Fold it lengthwise like a hot dog. Fold it in lengthwise once again like a carrot stick. And then in half like a hamburger or a garden burger. From there, we fold it into thirds so it'll fit neatly on the shelf. Fringe to the back because fringe is ugly. Blanket folding creates yogi friends. After class, we invite you to enjoy a cup of tea and some conversation. I hope you enjoyed this video on class etiquette and we'll be seeing you in class soon. Namaste.